So this is potentially one of my favorite slides. I worked very hard on this, pulling together some meaningful information for you. But what does it cost to have finance running in your business? Now, what you'll see here off to the right-hand side over here is you will see up in the on, on the left-hand side, you, you have monthly costs. So this is your, on average, how much you're gonna be spending. You should expect to spend overall for your finance function for all of those areas we just covered. And then down below is a sliding scale of how much annual revenue your business has, okay? And when you look at this, I mean, obviously, it's not like everybody's paying the exact same amount. They've got a variety here, but what you generally send see as a trend is, you know, about a five to 8% uh, of annual revenues is how much you're spending on your finance function, right? So if you make a hundred thousand dollars a year, on average, you're spending between 5,000 and 8,000 dollars per year on your finance function in your business. That's a good estimate for small businesses. If you were a massive multinational company, that would be a very different percentage. In fact, if you're above $250 million in revenue, you're probably looking at something more like 1% of your total revenues you're spending on your finance function. So five to 8% is a pretty good benchmark when you were talking about under a million dollar in revenue businesses. So what you see here between those two red lines, that's what we're, we're gonna call standard. It's pretty average to see that. So if you're trying to establish a budget for yourself, think how much do I make in revenue and multiply between five and 8% and that's gonna be a reasonable range for you to spend on finance. Now, you're gonna notice down below, there are some dots that fall into this, what I'm gonna call discount category. And there are three reasons why you would ever expect you, your business to fall into the discount category, okay? Reason number one is you hit the jackpot and you just so happen to have a very non-complex business in a very non-complex industry. I will tell you this right now, Every industry has their own unique challenges, so it's not common that you should find yourself having a discount on your finance function just because of the industry that you're in. Uh, there's there's a number of things that you need to just be aware of. I've, I've posted about this on LinkedIn before, but I'll, I'll say it again here. If you have inventory, if you deal with construction, if you have to deal with medical billing, I hate to break it to you, but your finance function should never, should never fall into this discount category. You're shooting yourself in the foot. You're gonna have an issue if you're in here, okay? So number one reason why it should be in the discount category is because it's a non-complex business in a non-complex industry. Number two, which is the one I always cringe at, is you're cutting corners, right? When you think back to the core finance that you need to have in your business, you're not really addressing the stuff that needs to be addressed. You're not really keeping books and records for management's sake. So you don't have insight into what's happening in your business. But as a result, you've got a discount now and you, you're not spending as much on your finance function. You don't wanna be paying a discount for your finance services just because uh, you're trying to cut corners. Uh, it's ultimately gonna shoot you in the foot for that. So that would be the second reason why you should be, why you would see yourself falling into this discount category. The third reason, which I'm actually a fan of, is you yourself or potentially somebody else who already is working in your business, maybe an office admin or a stay-at-home spouse, if you're a freelancer especially, um, they are being trained up or you are have been trained up and you know now how to do the work in your business. You're gonna see you spend a little bit less money per month on your finance function. That would be like an okay reason to spend less money here. You, you'd fall into the discount category. Now, I say it does have a little bit of a dark underbelly. I don't necessarily advise that everybody try to do their own books. And the reason I say that is because some people have plans to grow and scale their business at a large at a large rate, at a fast pace. If you are in the growth mindset, you want to grow your business, I don't think you're going to be best served by learning how to do the books yourself. You're probably gonna be best served hiring a specialist to, to do that for you. So just know that it's not always a great thing if you are paying a discount just because you're doing it yourself. Um, that's what we got going on down below there for discount. So on the flip side, up above, we see this premium category. This is roughly eight to 12% of your annual revenues. Sometimes companies will find themselves spending in that category of eight to 12% of their annual revenues. And the reason why they would do this is because, like I said before, they have plans for growth. They desire to be 
for, go further than just the solopreneurship or, you know, they, they have aspirations of breaking through the million dollar revenue uh, barrier. If that is your business and you have plans for rapid growth, you should probably expect to pay a little bit of a premium to get the right level of service that you need, right? Where you're working with actually an accountant and somebody who's going to be providing you real meaningful insights in your business, okay? I say 8 to 12%, it could be a little bit more than that, uh, but 8 to 12% is a reasonable range that we would see. Uh, but just know that that's one of the reasons why you would be paying a little bit of a premium. So keep those numbers in mind as you go through and think to yourself, uh, how much should my finance function cost? This is inclusive of your tax accounting, if you will. So just bear that in mind. Even if you do all the work yourself, but you have a tax accountant file your taxes at the end of the year, you're still going to be paying some amount of money. So keep that in mind when you uh, think about your cost for your business. <clears throat>